we're going to take a look at several examples that in include scientific notation. The first one, one gram of radium produces 37 billion disintegrations per second. How many disintegrations are produced in one hour? All right, so let's figure it out. 37 billion, what number is that? So I'm going to start out with 37, put a comma, and start adding zeros. And I'll add zeros in groups of three. So if I add three zeros, that would be 37,000. All right, need some more. If I add three more zeros, that would be 37 million. So add three more zeros, that would be 37 billion. Let's rewrite that big number in scientific notation. So we'd have 3.7, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 decimal moves. So times 10 to the 10th power. That's how many disintegrations happen per, so divided by, one second. We're to convert this to disintegrations per hour, so we'll use our dimensional analysis. I have to put the label of seconds up top, so cancel, and I know that there are 60 seconds to one minute. So I can cancel the label of seconds. Then I can cancel the label of minutes because I know that there are 60 minutes to one hour. And so the label of minutes cancels and I have left as my labels disintegrations per hour. So I'm ready to do the math. Now, on the TI-30XIIIS calculator that you were recommended to buy for class, let's see if I can bring it up, there we go, you would actually type the 3.7 and then you would type second and this x to the negative 1 key, which would show up as an E, and then you could type your 10. Things are a little bit different on my online calculator, but make sure that you're typing correctly for the calculator that you own. So on this calculator, we'll type our 3.7, and then we have this times 10 to the nth key, and our exponent of 10. Multiplying straight across, I have to exit the exponent, there we go, and then times 60, and times 60 again. And so we have as an answer for this 1.332 times 10 to the 14th power. And that would be the number of disintegrations per hour. So we're really just reviewing our dimensional analysis, starting off with a number in scientific notation and ending up with a number in scientific notation so that you see that scientific notation right on your calculator screen. Let's take a look at a second example. So this example tells us that one parsec is about 3.26 light years and one light year is 5.88 times 10 to the 12th miles. So we're asked to find the number of miles in three parsecs. So I'm starting this problem with three parsecs. And since that's not a fraction, I'll make it into a fraction by putting it over one. Now the conversions or equivalences are given to me. So I was told in the first part of the problem, one parsec, so I'll put that in the denominator, is the same as 3.26 light years. And that cancels the label of parsec. I'm also told in the second half of that first sentence that one light year, so I'll put that in the denominator, is the same as 5.88 times 10 to the 12th miles. And so that cancels the label of light year, gives me the label of miles, which is the label that I'm looking for. So now if I go to my calculator, I type 3 times 3.26 times 
times five point eight eight and I need this in scientific notation. So on the TI30X double IS, you'll type second and your X to the negative one key to get that E. And from there, you'll just type the exponent. So the exponent that we have here is 12. Once I type it in, I hit enter. And so I have my value for this problem, which is 5.75 approximately. times 10 to the 13th power miles. And we'll do one last example. Our last example tells us that the 17.6 mile long Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel was completed in 1964. Construction costs were 210 million. Find the average cost per mile. So again, I sort of have to figure out this number of 210 million before I can start. So I start with 210, put a comma, and then I'm going to start adding zeros. So I add a set of three zeros, and that gives me 210,000. So not quite what I want. So put another comma in, add three more zeros, and that would be 210 million. So if I put this in scientific notation, I would have 2.1 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th power. That's the cost. And now I'm supposed to figure out cost per mile. So I want to divide by the number of miles, which is 17.6. So I'm going to go to my calculator on this calculator and on the ti 30 ix that you have, you'll type 2.1. Then on your calculator, you'll type second and x to the negative one key to get an e. On here, I'll use the different button. My exponent is eight. Some people like to hit enter after typing this so that we don't even have to deal with the exponent and all. So there it is. And then I want to divide by 17.6. Hit enter, and I get my answer. Now, my math lab will ask you to do this type of problem, giving an answer in scientific notation. So in scientific notation, I'm going to round to two decimal places, but you want to round following whatever directions are given. So I have 1.19 times 10 to the, and I have to count my decimal places that I move this. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 decimal places. So 2, the 7th power, and that would be the amount of money it costs, dollars per mile.